Hi everyone, I'm Yoru, and today I'm going to show you how you can update your CSLO manager. So this tutorial will help you if you want to update your CSLO, of course, and if you don't want to lose your installed mods and profiles, for example, or even your config file. Now, CSLO doesn't update that often, I'd say, but sometimes when, especially when Riot brings out new, like, big new changes for a patch, CSLO will need an update. But most often, if you experience some issues with installing mods, it's probably rather a broken mod than CSL actually not working. There will definitely be an announcement on Killer Skins Discord when there's a new version of CSL. The first step, you will of course need to download the new CSL. So this is the GitHub download page under releases, which I will be linking, of course. And now, if you have a Mac system, you will download the Mac OS version. And if you have Windows, you need the Windows version, of course. So just go ahead and download it. It will give you a pop-up window because this is an XE download. So just save it, for example, to a downloads folder. And that's already enough. Then I'm going to go in my downloads folder. And there's the 7-zip EXE, which you just double click. And now you might get a little Windows warning pop-up. There you just click on more information and then execute it anyways. Then it will prompt you an extracting archive. I'll just leave it there. Usually it's where you open the exe that it wants to extract to. Now if you open the folder, you will see all the files there. So now I'm going to go ahead and open the location where my CSL is at the moment. So there you can see all the extra files, like six elements compared to 11. So what I'm just going to go is take all of those files and move them over. Then you get a pop-up asking you if you want to replace them, which you click yes. And then let's open up CSL. And there are still all of your installed mods and also your profiles are still available. Then I'm just going to press run. And usually it takes a while longer. But the mod loaded rather quickly, so I'm just gonna go in game and see you there. And there we go. As you can see, my map skin loaded perfectly fine and CSLOL is working without any issues. So, as per usual, if there are any issues, please ask in the Killerskins Discord, especially if there are more complicated issues. And yeah, I hope this tutorial helped you on updating your CSLOL and not losing any files or anything. So yeah, see you around.